This is an article that came out in earthnow.com AU. So this is Australian and it's dated February 11th, 2018. Australia is actually having a cool summer this year. And despite all of that, and this just go to show you, it really doesn't matter what the temperature is in order for people to get first, second, and third degree burns from the sun. And that's exactly what's happening. It's a cooler summer, but more people are getting sunburned this year in Australia than in 2017. And this is really a clear indicator of probably the same thing happening here in the United States just a few months from now, especially when spring and summer hits in our neck of the world. So let's look at this particular article, Perth's Cool Summer Weather Hides Extreme UV. A record number of West Australians last month got so badly sunburned they ended up in a hospital emergency departments despite Perth's mild summer in 25 years. In January, 118 people, an average of almost four people a day, sought emergency medical help at hospitals for sunburn-related injuries. This included first, second, and third degree sunburns. It was by far the highest number of sunburn cases at emergency departments for any month in the past three and a half years. By comparison, there were 69 sunburn presentations in 2017, January 2017. So they went from 69 last year, sunburn cases up to 118 this year that needed help, you know, medical help. The figures are remarkable given it was Perth's wettest January for 18 years and the mean maximum temperature was 30.8 Celsius, which was about 86 degrees was 0.4 Celsius below the long-term average. Perth has not had a day above 40 Celsius, and I believe that's like 104 degrees. This summer, the last time the mercury was above 35 Celsius and I believe 35 Celsius is either 96 or 97 degrees, was January 14th, a record run of 27 days. Cancer Council West Australia said people too often fell into the trap of thinking they didn't have to slip, slop, slap on cooler summer days. So you would think these folks have been on this planet for 6,000 years and they still don't get the fact that they are going to burn in the sun. So I'm taking it, you know, as I'm reading this, that because the temperature was cooler in Australia, these folks seem to think sunscreen was not necessary and they got burnt or they just didn't put enough on where it would protect them. Sun Smart manager Mark Strickland said sunburn was caused by overexposure to UV radiation, not high temperatures. Official advice is that people cover up to avoid skin damage when UV index is above three. Cooler days at the height of summer had much the same UV as on scorching hot days, he said. 
analysis of January's weather shows the UV level was extreme on both the hottest and coolest days of the month. So it really doesn't matter if it's a hot or cooler day in the summer. It's all in the UV rays that impacts their pale skin. When you live in West Australia in summer midday, UV index levels are around 15. It's either slip, slop, slap, seek, slide, or get skin uh, damage. Uh, there is no middle ground, Mr. Strickland, Strickland said. So if you look at this chart, now it says anywhere where you see the blue dots on days where it's above three, then it's extreme and they need to protect themselves. And as you can clearly see, the UV is well above three. And you can see the maximum temperatures on the chart as well and Celsius. The number of West Aussies who attended emergency departments after they had scorched themselves in the sun has increased for each of the past four years. There were 198 presentations, and that means cases in, you know, in their language. In 2014-2015, 250 in 2015-2016, and 340 2016 2017 there has already been 251 in the first seven months of 2017 2018 so their summer is still going on these most severe cases are just the tip of the iceberg the cancer council of west australia estimates 261,000 West Aussies suffer sunburn each year. That's crazy when we all know the risk and how to avoid the burn, Mr. Strickland said. Adding that an over-reliance on sunscreen rather than, listen to what he says, wearing clothing and hats was a mistake. So he's saying they can't just rely on putting sunscreen on. They really need to cover up their bodies and wear hats. There you go. You know, maybe they need to just accept the fact that the sun is just not for them. Why keep going through all of this skin cancer and sunburns and all of this stuff year in and year out when you just need to stay indoors when the sun is out. That's really what it's boiling down to. If you want to keep your health up, that's what you need to do. But we know you got too much proud, too much pride and too proud and arrogant to do what's right. Okay, Australian Medicine Association, West Australia President Omar Korshand said the emergency department presentations for sunburns would be an enormous underestimate of the burden of sunburn that is occurring in the community. The vast majority of people won't attend emergency departments, no matter how bad their sunburn is, he said. So yeah, so, you know, he's right. A lot of people will get severe sunburns and just stay home. They won't go and get any medical help. So those numbers are definitely undercounted. The damage that sun causes is cumulative. And the people who get just a slight red tinge at the end of the day that has disappeared by the next day are still damaging their skin. They are exposing themselves to an increased lifetime risk of all the different skin cancers. See, there you go. I mean, so even if they get a mild sunburn where they don't feel any pain from it, they're still putting themselves at risk for skin cancer. 
Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. Join me on Black Junction TV and BlackSpot.com. Peace, family.